What started off as a friendly endeavor into SCP content would unknowingly lead to the server's ultimate demise. Welcome to the biggest betrayal in Minecraft SCP history, and how I pulled it off. So let me bring you up to speed. This is the Cosmic SMP. It's a modded SMP focused around space and space travel. On day one of the SMP, my only goal was to make as many friends as possible, because after all, I'm trying to keep my friends close and my enemies closer. I had a pretty rough time trying to get started. Oh no, 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 no! And although it was unintentional, and honestly kind of embarrassing, this only helps me out. Because being known early on on the SP as like a bad Minecraft player, it would mean that everyone would have low expectations from me as to what I would do here. Because nobody expects the garbage player to take over the world, you know? Eventually the members of the SP would be divided into groups based on who lives with who. The biggest threat by far is the Hut Boys, consisting of eight different members, making them the most powerful by far. In second place, we have KGE, which only has one member, so who cares? <laughs> and lastly, we have my team, the Swamp Monsters, which was me and my new friend Dubsy. So the server's Twitter ran a poll asking their audience who was their favorite team so far. And to no surprise, we did the worst. Uh, honestly, I expected this because a lot of people were streaming the first day, most of which were from Hut Boys. So it makes sense that the biggest team would have the most votes. Right. On day two, at the start of my stream, I was notified by the leader of the Hut Boys that one of their members had actually betrayed them, who stole a majority of their things and flee the scene. They then approached me for a potential alliance, with their hopes being that they could live with us and use our stuff, basically. Until they can get back on their feet, you know? Uh, we have a proposal for you. Um, okay, you proposal. know Drew, you explain this. He'll, he might take it from you, but... So, they have an issue with people, uh, like, betraying them. They've had, like, two or three people that's already betrayed them, and they want to have an alliance with us. You're the only, like, faction, you could say, that hasn't betrayed us, or... We've done, like, done nothing anything. to anyone, though, really. Exactly. Like, so friendly. Yeah. And we've lost all of our shit. Our base has got raided and burned to the ground. Oh, yikes. So they're yeah, asking for so, uh, us to make an alliance with them, so how do you feel about that? I'm, I'm already down with it. I'm just asking you, though. What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, Hot Boys I didn't have a problem with at all. Like, we talked about being friendly anyway. Again, they're seeing me as friendly, so that's a good sign. But the problem is, they quickly overstayed that welcome. You see, originally before this, it was just two of us. So we didn't exactly have, like, a giant mega base. In fact, our base is literally a little hut in the swamp. And that's all we have. So it got pretty crowded, and we noticed that some of our items had conveniently gone missing after they moved in. But I digress, that's not important. Let's get into the fun stuff. It's time to plot how I'm gonna take these guys down. This is the EFLN, better known as a roll eater. It's a projectile that when thrown, makes quite the explosive impact. And more importantly, the recipe is very simple. So these two items ironically were given to me as a gift by Alpha. So thanks, I guess. The first is the slime sling, which allows you to propel yourself backwards making travel a breeze. And then if you have the slime boots on as well, you have no fall damage. Now it may not seem like much, but this is all I'm gonna need for our mission today. Before we can cause complete and utter chaos, if you're enjoying this video so far, I would greatly appreciate you leaving a like. And hey, if you're new, maybe subscribe. Be pretty cool. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. That's cringe. Unless, when I logged on today, things took a bit of a turn. My base had been clearly broken into, raided. Everything is just gone. They took my items, my bed, and my crafting table. Bro, who steals a crafting table? But I'm not stupid. I figured eventually this would happen, which is why last time I was on, I hid my valuables in a wall, that way no one could find it. You always gotta think four steps ahead of your enemy at all times. But this is not a big deal. I got everything I needed like days ago, so I'm good. But it still hurts, man, just to have your house broken into and griefed and... And this was while I was offline, I wasn't even here. But I think I know who did it, actually. You see, when I was getting things ready, a new member joined the server, and he was experiencing a lot of the same struggle I did on my first day. You know, like constantly dying to literally everything. And like, I've been there, it sucks. But what he would do is he refused to do anything on his own, and he would constantly come to my base asking for food, materials, wood, whatever he needed just so he didn't have to do it himself, right? But the guy could not take no for an answer. And he begged and begged and begged, and, and I kept trying to tell him that just because I've played longer doesn't mean I owe you handouts. And uh, long story short, I killed him about 40 times, because I kid you not, every time he died, he walks to my base and comes to take some items. So I'm guessing while I was offline, he just decided to take everything I own, or tried to at least. So congrats, you got some stone wood, real big achievement there. And later on, I would find out that it wasn't just him. It was three other members. And I have it on video too, which is even funnier. <laughs> Literally caught in 4K, or 720p, because it's a Twitch, but you know, you, get, you know what I mean. 
I mean, you really just can't trust anyone here. Oh well. I'm pretty sure this is Christian's base, and his plan was to become the most powerful dictator and rule Cosmic with an iron fist. And obviously that didn't work out. It's a shame we couldn't be friends though. You and I were a lot alike. I found this huge open area that has like a bunch of houses. I'm not sure who lives here, but they sure as hell don't live here anymore. <laughs> not after what I did. As I destroy more and more, I wonder if this is the right thing to do. Yeah, it's fun to explode stuff and all, but am I truly happy? What would my past self think of what I'm doing now? Would he be proud of my actions? I, I think I just need time to self-reflect. Yo, yo. Hey, I just want to give you a call because uh, I'm feeling some type of way right now. Um, I just grieved for like 20 bases on this new SMP I joined. And you're feeling what? Guilt? Remorse? Excitement? I don't know, man. Just like, maybe I took things too far. Well, why'd you do it in the first place? Well, these new people I met here, they're just, uh, how do I put this without sounding mean? They're kind of cringe. <laughs> oh, thank God I'm not the only one. Holy shit. Those streams were so hard to watch, dude. I was bored as fuck. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, it was just hella awkward the whole time. Because as a longtime viewer, this SMP shit just it ain't it man, it just ain't you. Well fair enough, I guess. Uh but then what is me? What am I meant to be doing? The answer to all your problems has been inside you all along. Wait, what are you trying to say? You're you're like speaking in riddles. I'm not speaking in riddles, I'm speaking English. You know what I mean. Just drew it. Just drew what? You Why 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 are you so vague? Why? What is the point of this? Just drew it. I am done here. <laughs> Fuck you. I should be thrilled now. From the start of the SMP, everyone just wanted to go to space. But it's just not the same, man. Not without Dubsy. We were supposed to go to Saturn together and start an empire, but I'm missing my partner in crime. This feels meaningless without him, but what else is there left to do? The SMP is in smithereens, its members have vanished, and the friends we've made along the way are no more. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over.